Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino, and on this episode, we are going to be cooking up a storm. For a little while now, people have been asking us to do a full cooking episode. Well, you've got it in this. We've got 12 different things you can cook on the road next time you're camping, from gas cooking to camp cooking to even using a microwave. We have it all on this episode. Now we've got Lee and Kristen joining us on this. Obviously, uh, Twilight and Adam will be here. We are gonna have a fun. So we're gonna get straight into this episode because we've got 12 recipes to get through and uh, to guarantee you this, by the end, you are gonna be hungry. So anyway, let's start off with number one. So the first thing Lee's cooking is his hamburgers. They're just the cheapy old hamburgers, just chuck them on there. And he's got the coals underneath, as you can see, and they're cooking away. Once your burger patties are half cooked, throw in your hash browns and get them started. Now this is when you want to start cooking your bacon. Lee is cooking his on top of the barbecue. You can cook it in a fry pan, up to you. And then once that's cooked, put it to the side and start cooking your eggs. If you like Lee and you've got your fancy little egglets, they'll turn out even better. Otherwise, just fry them in your pan. I really have to ask Lee where he got these egglets from again because I'm so jealous. I definitely need to get some. How cool are they? All right, time to put this baby together. So what do we do first, Lee? We hit it with the sauce, the old barbecue. Yep. Then nice. Dose is helping out too. Get the hamburgers in there. Yep. Oh, double banger. Double banger. Yep. Hash brown. Get the carbs in there. Beautiful. And the next. Next. We've got the eggs. Yes. And to top it off, the bacon. Sweet. And wrap it up like a baby. Just like that. Check this out, guys. This is incredible. This is nothing like me, what me and Adam made. So this is the proper way how to make your breakfast wraps. Now, it's time for a taste test. Pretty good, Lee. Well done. What do you think, Adam? Yep. Lee's a good cook. <laughs> Better than me. <laughs> <That's what I'm... laughs> We're gonna make some Spanish beans with chorizo. It's gonna taste beautiful. All you need is two bits of garlic, cut up fine. You got your red capsicum, onion, a chorizo, whatever type you want. If you want to get one with chili through it, whatever you like. Um, some feta to top it off with some red kidney beans, a can of uh, diced um, Italian tomatoes, a little bit of white wine, and some oil. First of all, let's fry up some onion. Next, I'm gonna pop in my chorizo, and just let that get a bit hot. Now they're nice and hot, we're gonna throw in our capsicum. Just get that in there, mix it around. Throw your wine on top. And then you want to cover this with just the lid, which I don't have a lid for this. So I'm just going to pop a lid from something else on there and just let that cook away for a bit. Once the capsicums start to soften, we just want to crack a whole heap of pepper. Do it to your taste. Into Twyla for her cameo. Once your wine is almost evaporated, hop in your beans. This is when all the magic happens. Grab your tomatoes, in they go. And you just want to mix that through and then let it cook away. So there you have it guys, how awesome is this? Now we're just going to garnish with 
a little bit of parsley and then just grab yourself some feta and just sprinkle that over top. This is definitely one to remember. Now we don't normally have power in our van when we're out free camping, but because we're at this caravan park, we do have power and we do have a microwave. So I'm gonna whip up a really quick, easy breakfast that you can do next time you've got power and you're away. So I've just cracked four eggs, salt and pepper. Then I'm just gonna add my milk. Now, if you're wondering what I'm making, I'm making scrambled eggs in the microwave. And it's as simple as that. Salt, pepper, like I said, a bit of milk, give it a whisk into the microwave it goes. Then what you wanna do is after about a minute and a half of cooking, just give it a stir through and then pop it back in. Now, this is how it should look when it comes out of the microwave. It's still a little bit wet in the middle and then you give it a good mix and you're gonna have scrambled eggs. And there you have it. That is my scrambled eggs cooked in just a few minutes. We're making enough for about how many of us? Nine? Nine, yeah. Nine people. So we've got a couple of foil trays over here that we're going to try and fill up. Um, a whole heap of potatoes, which we're going to slice in my wonderful slicing machine, which is so much quicker um, than hand slicing your potatoes. We've also got some diced bacon over here. It's about 800 grams, I believe. Some thick cream. Lots of cheese for the top. My husband loves a lot of cheese, so we've got a lot of cheese, some salt and pepper, and the all essential, some garlic powder. Alright guys, so we've sliced up a few potatoes over here. So we're going to show you how we start um, layering the scalloped potatoes. Alright, potatoes go in there and now Lee's going to grab some diced bacon and just sprinkle a few some shredded tasty cheese over there. Followed by some garlic powder. Lee likes his garlic so we love garlic. just put as much garlic as you please. Just some salt and pepper in between the layers. And then you start with your next layer. Pretty simple. All right, I'm just gonna put some cream on. Alrighty, so now we're just gonna put some foil over. And then we're gonna put it in the Weber. The Weber's already heated, preheated to about 180 degrees. And we're just going. This is one, two, What a great effort from Lee and Kristen. How mouth-watering do these potato scallops look? Paired with some salad and sausage on the side, that's all you need. You're going to have a yummy camp dinner. So all you're going to need for this, this is a really good recipe for camping because you don't need much at all. Um, and some of these you don't even have to have if you don't like them. But I've um, got some carrot here, some broccoli, and then I've got some spring onions, sesame seeds, soy sauce, garlic, brown sugar. I've got some chili. You don't have to add chili if you don't want. Uh, oil. And the main part is two minute noodles or these no name ones from Audi. <laughs> I'm using three tonight for me and Adam, so it'll be one and a half packs each. Um, if we've got to eat it all, I don't know. But yes, and I'm going to do this on a one burner. So the first thing you want to do is get your sesame seeds, throw them in the pot, about that, and then just cook them up and get them nice and toasty. And then we're going to put them aside. So now for the easiest part of this recipe is we're going to cook the noodles up. So they're all slightly toasted. Got a beautiful smell. I wish I had a smell of vision. Um, they're on and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be grabbing my veggies and popping them in as well so they can cook with the noodles Oop. and then over here I've got my drainer ready to go. All 
All right, so the first thing you do next, well, <laughs> the next thing you do is grab your oil, put some oil in. So I'm putting about two big tablespoons in, and then we're just gonna get a little bit of, uh, about a couple of tablespoons, well, one tablespoon maybe of garlic. Start cooking that around. It's nice and hot in there. And then we're gonna get our spring onions. Put them as many as you like. I'm just going to do that many, so I'm going to put a couple of fresh ones in the top once it's finished. And also, we're going to add our chilli. Now, I won't go too crazy, because Adam doesn't mind chilli, but not too much chilli. Okay. Alright, <laughs> did you hear that gasp? That was Adam going, ah! too much chilli, too much chilli. Too much chilli. No, this is good. Alright, so that's your first step. Now that that's browned up a little bit, the garlic's browned up, I'm just gonna get my uh, soy sauce, pop that in. Okay, I'm gonna actually just pop the whole lot in. How much, was, how much soy sauce is that? It's meant to be two teaspoons, but you know, I always like to go a bit more. And get it um, to start caramelizing. Now the sugar's in there. If, if it doesn't caramelize straight away, just keep it up to stirring, stirring, and eventually, oh, here we go. Now I've gotta get this on a lower heat. There we go, that's what we want. Now that's nice and thick, you can see how thick it is. Look at that, it's really nice. Anyway, I'm gonna throw in our noodles. <laughs> and woo, the veggies that are already in there. I'm just gonna mix that through and try to get that sauce all over the noodles. While I'm mixing that, I'm gonna start putting in the sesame seeds. So we'll sprinkle them over. Well, Adam, what do you think? Mm. Yeah, it's good. Too much of anything, too little of anything? No, no, I think it's good. It's um, sweet, but got a bit of a kick. So a combination of the chili and the sugar. Oh, and, yeah, uh, nice, nice. Mm. But tonight I'm cooking my favorite. It is Calabrese. It's gonna be good, I tell ya. I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, well, you better be, because I'm cooking it, and it's going to be damn good. All right, first, I'm just going to chuck in my oil. Just chuck a bit of that in there. And then we're going to throw in some onion, like that. And now I'm going to throw in my garlic. So I'm going to throw that in there, like so. Give that a mix around. Let that brown up a little bit before we chuck in the chorizo and brown that off as well. Starting to brown slowly, but we're going to chuck in our chorizo now. Use any type of treat so you want, hot, spicy, whatever you want. Just chuck it in. Nice, thick pieces, especially when you cook it in a uh, camp oven. You want it nice and thick, not little pieces. All right, now that they're starting to look a bit translucent, I think that's the word. Mm -hmm. We're going to throw in our red and green capsicum. Give that a mix around. Let that cook for a little bit longer with no lid on. And then we're going to start adding in all our sauces first. We just got a can of uh, crushed tomatoes. Just chuck that in. You can give that a rinse out with a bit of water too. Now a bottle of sauce. Thank you, mother for the rabbits. And then we're just gonna chuck in our tomato paste, which I've just got one of those sachets. Just squeeze that in there. Get it all in. Beautiful. All right. And then we're gonna throw in our olives. Now these are uh, just pipped um, olives. Oh God, we can make a mess here. And I'm just gonna pour that in. And Adam has kindly passed me some water. I'm just gonna add that in to clean out that jar. In this, I've just got some oregano, some chili. You can see it here, oregano, chili, parsley. Or you can buy, you can cheat a bit. Oh shit, that's a bit. <laughs> Um, you can cheat and buy the Italian herbs, it works just as good. And this is going to be a cracker meal. Now, one thing you definitely have to put in your red sauce is some red wine. So let's pour that in and then we're all done. We'll have a look at how it's going. Look at that. This is perfect. 
Adam is dishing up. Mm -hmm. I've got a few bowls already. So he's going to dish up and then Adam likes to always put his uh, parmesan cheese on top of the pasta. And then we put the sauce on top of that. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, on goes the parmesan. All right, the sauce is off the fire. And um, Adam's just dishing them all up now. Well, there we have it. The Calabresi pasta in front of the fire. And everyone, what do we all think? dinner this is what we're having so i'm going to run you through it and uh let's get cooking so the first thing i've done as you would have heard i've boiled the kettle now the kettle's boiled i just want to get some oil in the pan and heat that up now one thing we don't normally bring with us when we have our fry pan is a lid big enough to cover it so one of the things you need to do when you're cooking these is have something big enough to cover it so you can steam them after we've fried the bottom of it. So Adam, Adam's joining in the fun now. Adam, you're such a control freak. Anyway, so <laughs> what we're doing, we're just browning the bottoms and this may be what, one minute you said? Yeah, one minute. That's ready. That's ready. Yep. Next minute. Okay. One minute. So now Next we're going to be good. pouring in some water. Okay, so here we go, whoa! Okay, so we've done that, and then we're gonna grab the lid. Can you turn it down? Yep, oh, I've gotta turn it right down to a sizzle. Yep, that's a sizzle, can you see that? Yep, okay, and then Adam's just gonna grab the lid, throw that on top, and hopefully, that is it. And how long is that going on for Adam? Is that three minutes? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. All right, well, seven minutes. All until the water's almost evaporated. Okay, yeah, cool. And how many meals of water, if anyone wants to know? How well, many? we're going to buy the packet and yeah. then you know, see the instructions. But, <laughs> okay, <laughs> 125 well, meals, half a cup. A half a cup of water. Yeah. So, I just did an estimate. Well, it depends, so what, it de it depends which, which brand you buy. There'll be different measurements. Yeah, different... well, that's true, that's yeah. true. So, basically, read your instructions. <laughs> read <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> great. Thanks for being helpful, Adam. Yeah. Oh. All right, we've waited seven minutes. Now we've taken the lid off and we're just going to wait till all this water evaporates. And these are ready. They already look ready. They smell ready. They smell awesome. Now I've got two little things there. We're going to put some soy sauce in one and we're going to do some chili in the other. So, anyway, I'll get that ready now. So, they're the two sauces, obviously, using soy sauce and then this uh, chili sauce. Look how nice it looks. And, um, yeah, so now we're just going to put them on the plate and we're done. Ready, Adam? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yay! <laughs> well, when it comes to my dinner, it is served. Look how good this looks. It looks so amazing. Um, but Adam is in there frying the rest of his... You like them a little bit more fried, don't you? Yeah, I like mine well done. Well done, and on both sides. So he's just browning his up, where mine are fried on the bottom, but soft on top. Well, Adam, what do you think? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they're a bit messy, aren't they? <clears throat> not really, they're not that messy. They're mm. pretty good. They're really nice. So How long did that really take us? Probably 10 yeah, minutes? Like 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. well, more than, maybe all up 15. Yeah, 15 minutes. Get everything out, boil the kettle. But it does say use warm water, not boiling water, so we actually cooled it down. Yeah, once we yeah, boiled yeah. it. Cook hash browns today. We're going to be doing hash browns, and I'm going to add a couple of little extra special things in there. We have started, well, Adam has anyway. He's grating the potatoes, so like I was saying, doing hash browns, so we've got the potatoes here, flour, and eggs actually, we need eggs. Oh, we need eggs. Yes, okay. and caprica. Paprika. Uh, so that's here, and then also- Am I missing something? Chorizo. That's our oh, little secret. We're gonna try something different. Oh, yeah. We started with myself first, and because I'm, I'm apparently slow, Dean got on board. Yeah, and then we've got Kristen on board now. Yeah. So the three masketeers. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right, so we're moving on now to cutting out the chorizo. What chorizo are we using? Primo. Primo. So we've got that. We're going to cut that up in small bits. And then we've got six eggs. Um, we've got some plain flour. So Adam's just dicing now. The chorizo are up really tiny. And uh, then we'll pop it into the potato. All right, so... And is moving on to the eggs. We're just cracking into another bowl just so they don't, um, Adam doesn't put any shell in there if, it, if he gets any shell in there. Time to add the flowering. So Adam's just giving it a sprinkle. Probably about a, we'll start off with a cup. We'll see if we need more. We probably will need more. Um, that should be about right. Yep. And then we'll put the paprika in. Again, no measurements, just a sprinkle. Yeah, that's perfect. Good work, Adam. And now Adam's going to use his hands to mix it all through. So this is going to be the fun part. So this is the consistency we're looking for. We've put about another, it's probably bit, another cup in. It's a bit wet still. And um, it's a little bit wet, but that won't matter. They'll harden up in the oil and uh, they'll be nice and soft in the middle. And let's put the first one oh. in. So Twyla wants to join in. Mm. Twyla. All right, let's so go. Gonna roll it, just put it in. No, just, just pop it in and just kind of flatten it into a circle. Push it down, that's it. And just scrape that into there and it'll all join up. That's perfect. And that's our first hash brown. With chorizo. This is how they're looking. Come along and you can see the truth so cooking away, it looks so good and these are the other ones that we've made. So they're taking a little while to cook but we've got the wind block now so hopefully we can cook a lot more quicker. But they're looking good. Well I've just had my first few bites and it's absolutely delicious. You've definitely got to have some sauce and salt on them. But uh, it tastes great and you can really taste that truth. So beautiful, yum. I'm about to cook this. So we're having. <laughs> Is it right? What are they? <laughs> Casadillas. <laughs> oh my god. I get it confused with tortillas, but we're using the tortillas to make the casadillas. <laughs> now, the, the there's a right. And not for heaters. <laughs> Anyway, let me show you what we're using to make these. All right, so all you need is your tortillas. Tortilla? Tortillas? Tortillas. The anyway. Island. Yes. Oh, are they? Okay. I should know. I've been to Mexico. Anyway. Um, oh, and I've got the, some of these little hot boys. We can cut up and put on there if you want. That's up to you. And some hot sauce. And pretty much simply, we just got ham, salami, and then one of these. Some mozzarella cheese. So, That's and that is it. Dash. The Italian dash. Yeah, so pretty much that's all you need. And then we're gonna pop it on the fry pan and cook it up and I'll show you how they look at the end. Smell the gas. Pop that in, just warm it up. Okay. Uh -huh. Normally set it up medium or lower. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the cheese started to melt. And we just put on a lower setting just then, so it doesn't, because it's burnt a bit, because I've had it up too high. Yep. Oh. Like so. Just... Yummy. So I'm having ham, salami, and I've added a bit of hot sauce and some, the, are, these, are these jalapenos, Monica? Yes. Jalapenos. And um, yeah, Monica's doing the next lot. So these are looking good. Yum. So 
Adam is busy cutting up the chicken okay. down here. So this is everything we're using. So basically this, you can just cook your pasta and throw this in and you're done. That's how easy it is. But what we're doing extra is we're just gonna add a little bit of chili in it at the end. So we're just gonna put that on top. We've got our pasta, obviously that's what you need to make this meal. Um, and then to make it a little bit more special, we're adding the chicken. Just to get a bit more body, yeah, Adam? Yeah. Yeah. And you just, all you have to do is agree. I'm talking, you agree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're going to squeeze some lemon on top. I reckon this is going to just take it to that next level. And then also we've got the Parmesan cheese. So I think all this combined is going to turn out to be absolutely beautiful. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is just brown off your chicken. Now this is a one pot wonder, isn't it? Well, it can be. It can be. Yeah, can be. Well, well, you can or you can not but um yeah so adam's just browned off the chicken he's just popping in a bowl and then we're pretty much just going to cook the rice up i mean rice the pasta god what am i thinking asian no italian cooking the pasta up and then that's pretty much it and we'll mix the rest in adam's doing his good old bit of oil in the water before the pasta goes in and your salt yeah once your pasta is cooked, drain the pasta, then grab your basil pesto jar, empty the contents and add your chicken. Give that a good stir and mix around. This is when the dish will start coming to life. Now, this is where you gotta decide if you're gonna add your extras or not. I'm definitely doing it. I'm gonna add some lemon and make sure you put that parmesan on. It just makes the world of difference. And then I've added the chili, yummo. Look how good this looks. Adam, what are you thinking? Now you did yours mm. just with chicken. You didn't do the um, no. lemon and chili. No. Mm -hmm. So Adam's looks a bit bland. <laughs> well, to some. But I think mine looks really restauranty. <laughs> Is, there, is that even a word? Restauranti. It is now. Sounds like an Italian word. Restaurante. <laughs> Definitely think it's better with the lemon and the chilli, because the chilli and lemon is so much better. Now, Lee's starting to just dish off. We'll take you through what we've got to do. Um, so what are you doing firstly? Well, we've got to brown the mince off first. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to put it on the side and then put everything else together. Yep. But uh, first things first, brown meat. Just going over what you need for the dish. You've got, obviously got your green capsicum, your red capsicum. Uh, Kristen's cutting up the onion at the moment. And then we've got, what are these, Lee? Jalapenos. Jalapenos. I love jalapenos. And then we've got some diced tomatoes. We're doing 800 grams. Uh, then you've got your, what's this one? Diced tomatoes with chili. Oh, diced with chili. And then you've got your uh, mixed beans some um just some red kidney beans garlic and then what's your concoction you've made up all right so this is salt pepper cumin chili powder uh smoked paprika and uh that's the basis of the recipe so now lee's just getting some new coals ready and he's going to sit the the pot on that and he's going to spin it over the coals and then um the chili will cook on there all right so what's the next step lee uh we're gonna we've got onions the jalapenos capsicums we're going to saute them for about 10 minutes yep. get them soft yep and then we're going to hit it with all the rest of the stuff yeah put it all together and back on the fire Sauteed, ready to go. Beautiful. The spices go in. Yep. Yeah, that's cumin, smoked paprika, chili, salt, pepper, and yeah, that's it. So we'll give it a oh, it smells amazing. Quick mix. Good old Wishishi sauce. Oh yes, we didn't have that out before. No, I forgot about <laughs> it. Luckily, <laughs> the <I remember> most <laughs> important part, and yes. really forgot about it. All right, I like a bit of that. Now we're just going to throw the beans in. Yep, in they go. Woof. Tomato.
give it a mix and then in with the the mince the mince and then we're going to close the lid up we're going to put it on the fire yep and we're going to cook it for about an hour and then we're going to take the lid off and let the smoke get into it and then it'll be done perfect just want to see how this goes Yeah, our floor is just a pro. I mean, it's, it's fine. Well, it's time for dinner. Lee's just mixing it up. Is it still hot? Yes. Have you even warmed it up? It's still hot. Didn't have to warm it up. We were right to oh, go. Oh, God, it smells good. All right, and we're eating this tonight with, um, just over here, we've got, what have we got? Sour got cream? some sour cream. Doritos. Doritos. And some cheese And some cheese bowls. Somewhere. And some cheese. <laughs> All right, let's dish up. This is looking awesome. Well done, Lee. Good job. Looks so good. Eating this around the fire. It's definitely going to keep us warm. What are you doing now, Adam? We're getting dinner ready. So we're having roast. Now, I didn't tell him what roast we're having yet. You're announcing it. Roast pork. Roast pork? Roast pork. Do I love? Roast pork? Yes. All right. So how big have we got it? Right. Whoa. Just for the two of us and Twyla. Yeah. To save a bit of a clean up, we're just putting the foil down the bottom as per usual. Um, this just saves with cleaning, really, doesn't it? I need a bit more. Yeah. All right, let's get this rolling. What are you doing, Adam? Just adding a bit of oil? Well, you dry it off first. So you dried it off. Adding your oil. Well, that should be enough oil. We're going to get done for copyright because of the music playing in the background. <laughs> Out our neighbours have cranked up the music, so we're having a free show while we get our meat ready for tonight. <laughs> All right, so it's ready to go. Let's get it in. Be cold, yeah. Oh, be, be careful, it might be hot. I don't know. So, it's been an hour, one hour. So, we're just going to check on it and see how it's coming along. Whoa, that's looking really good. Okay, put it back on. So nice, that the heat. time for veggies. Yummo. So tonight we're keeping our veggies a little bit rustic, just like our soup. And um, we've kept the skins on the pumpkin. We've got full potatoes that are just going to go in whole. And we've got some onion. And Adam's doing even the carrots. We're keeping the skins on. And thank you, thank you to our neighbours. <laughs> I went and stealed this. Was this last night, wasn't it? I stole that from their garden last night. So last thank night. you. Last year, really good undercover. Just yeah, yeah, just yeah. So door. Danny and Steve, if you uh, notice that um, you're hedge missing, is missing. Yeah, hedge is missing. Um, thanks, guys. Thanks for letting us have that. You did say I could go get some anytime I want. I'm holding you to that. Hopefully, you remember that. <laughs> so we're putting everything on these, except literally, except for the same as what we put in the soup today, kind of. Um, so we've got garlic. Can I just put garlic in? Salt, pepper. We're going to be doing um, some parsley, some uh, oregano, um, oil. Oh, no oregano. No oregano? Okay, no oregano. Swipe that. Take that from the record. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then we're going to be throwing it in. Oh, and of course the rosemary, which Adam said he's just going to throw the stick straight in. Just so that way we can just pour it straight out after it's been cooked. Hey, Adam? Mm-hmm. Oh, Work on parsley. Oh, you sure do. Mm -hmm. Chop a little thing. Yep. Um, it's looking very rustic. And the oil. Yep, here comes the oil. Oh, and I can hear a kookaburra. Oh, I wonder what Twyla's thinking about the kookaburra. <laughs> She's looking around. All right, light massage. Let's take this lid off again. Pop that over here. 
Adam's gonna pop the veggies in. Oh god, that's looking really good. So we got rid of the foil. It was sticking too much, so we're just chucking the veggies straight in, and then we're just gonna chuck the meat on top. So Adam's doing imbalance the act. He's getting the steak put in there while trying not to get all this oil all over him. Oh, that was a good balancing act. <laughs> he was so lucky. Okay, so the meat's back in. Foil's gone. This is looking pretty hot. The fire is getting better and better as the night goes on. Tyler's just been for a walk. Now we're gonna open this up and toss the veggies. So let's get this open. Oh, wow. <laughs> That is looking freaking amazing. The nicest red coals now. Look at that. It's so good. All right, here we go. Pop this on. I've got smoke in my eyes. One sec. Perfect. That is looking absolutely gorgeous. Right, time to remove this baby away from the fire. Oh, she weighs a bit. Having a sneak peek. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to give you some. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give this a taste. Oh, God. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yum. So Adam's trying to be <laughs> skilled Make here and remove the... As a big blanket. <laughs> remove uh, the, the one big skin. Because we'll put it back in the yard. I'm going to chuck it back in to get it crisp. And then we've got this beautiful piece of meat. Look at this. How good does this look? It looks so good. Adam's just dishing up the veggies. And this time we haven't overly burnt them at all, have we? It's looking pretty good. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. I need to stop filming and eat. This looks incredible. It's literally melting in our mouth. I can't believe how good this is. All the crackling out. Look at this. Look how good it looks. Besides that little bit there. Look at this. It is crispy. Oh my God, we're gonna be munching like there's no tomorrow. Look how good that looks. Yum. All right, so the crackling is done. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Crunchy, bloody fatty. But beautiful <laughs> well guys if that didn't make you hungry i don't know what will how about some tickets yeah how about some tickets <laughs> we're about to give away the tickets i'm so excited adam where are we giving tickets away to so these are the tickets for the victorian caravan and camping touring super show so firstly thank you for those who will jump on our instagram channel uh and well firstly subscribe to our youtube channel but then also then go onto the instagram page and then tag hey, three friends three friends yes so, so in saying that we have now got those names who have entered so let's grab the king dino adventures cap adam show them the cap oh, yeah. and show them the entries <laughs> So they're in there. So right. So let's let's start this ball rolling. So oh, here well, we not go. quite a ball, but <laughs> he's the first winner. All right, there we go. That is the first winner. So who's that one? Brooke Dot Jones, thirteen. Ooh, congratulations! All right. That's why I like come join the fun. <laughs> no. She's busy. All right, here we go. I think it, is that, what's that one? Right. Rochelle, Rochelle S12. S12, congratulations, Rochelle. I was going to say S7 for a second, but S <laughs> that's showing our age. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Next one. Third winner. Oh. Who's that? Um, oh, I'll I see you read it. Oh, that's upside down. Oh. Yeah. Barton dot Terry. Terry. Terry, I think. Ted? I don't know. But anyway, yes. Congratulations, Barton. Third, third winner. We've got Lucky Last. Lucky Last. So this is the last winner. The four ticket holders. Well, each winner is getting two, two tickets. tickets. All right. So you can take a friend. Lucky Last. Here we go. And can you see that one? The last winner is Hex Spaniels. Oh, it sounds so Spanish. Um, so congratulations to our winners. We will be at the show. So if you want, if you see us, come say hi. You don't have to come say hi, but 
We'll say hi back. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You looking forward to the show? Yeah, no, it should be a good day out. So we're there on the Saturday. Did you just say that? No, you didn't say what day, did you? No, so no. we're there on the Saturday. Most likely it's Saturday, yeah. Um, so it'll be great to see you guys at the show. So if you see us, say hi. Yes. And as always, guys, we appreciate your support and your following uh, on your, and your well, joining us on the live feeds on the Sunday. And if, oh, and if you're new to the episode, remember to like and subscribe and tell your friends about us. Until next week, guys. Until next Sunday, 5 p.m. Um, and Wednesday to 7 o'clock. We'll see you then. See you guys. See ya. Bye.